Well, hello again, Hot Wheels collectors. Today we have the old concept car of the Audi Avis Quattro. It doesn't actually say Audi here. The back of the car it says 1998 as far as a copyright. And uh, I guess that makes sense. Well, this must be a re-release re because the uh, original concept car came out in 1991. Uh, so it was supposed to showcase the new W12 engine from the Volkswagen Group, the 6-liter W12, so three banks of four cylinders. And then uh, 510 horsepower, all-wheel drive quattro, um, an aluminum space frame, and then the body was also made of aluminum hand-beaten uh, panels that were 1.5 millimeters thick. And uh, this car was designed by Jay Mays. And it was in, his inspiration were all the auto union race cars of the 1930s, which uh, I can definitely see that happening. Okay, let's uh, not forget the scale of this thing. So that's why I have the calculator already ready. 2800 is the wheelbase. Let's see if there's a logical place to measure. No, not on the base at least. So I gotta make sure that's zeroed out. This Harbor Freight one hasn't failed me yet. Cheap uh, little plastic uh, calipers, but I like it so far. This is assuming the axles are actually straight and the wheels are actually centered in their openings, which they may not be. But it is around 48, so that might be correct. You know, I'd assume they design things in an even millimeter scale, but... Alright, so 2800 divided by 48. Oh boy, it doesn't even matter. This is a can't see it's 158 scale so this is way too huge oh well we saw the pictures we know it's a little bit big but uh, until someone makes a true 64 scale which would be kind of cool uh, this is what we have to go with so naturally this thing is really shiny and the camera's going crazy it's pretty much chromed this is chrome here because this is silver here the wheels, they're going to get replaced, so don't even got to talk about them. Uh, I'm going to guess these are exhausts over here. Right here, this exhaust port. Uh, no door handle that I can see. It's supposed to be, I think, right here, maybe. But, uh, whew, man, this thing is shiny. Okay, so on the front, there seems to be a license plate area, which is weird. The concept car just has the Audi rings right here. Uh, it would have been better just to have a vent. And, you know, and skip this license plate thing. I mean, it's a concept car. Why do, would you put a rectangle there? Very strange. All right. Uh, supposed to be vents down here, but they seem to be missing on this casting. Headlight area seems all right, I guess. Um, this side here looks the same. What about the rear? The rear, yeah. It's hard to see, but the light area here seems uh, appropriate. Now, this license plate area seems appropriate. Uh, yeah, no printing or anything like that, but there's a Hot Wheels badge here, and then this plastic roof is all one piece with the silver printing on it, some sort of big NACA duct was on the real thing, and there's a blackout printing as well for the molding and stuff. So, you can just kind of, hopefully, I don't know, I can see a little bit of engine detail in there, see, the W12, although that looks like a twin, twin bank, not a three bank. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but it does say W12, so maybe that is accurate. Hmm. It's cool that they actually molded in W12. Ah, boy, that interior is tough, though. Let's let's grab the good old flashlight and see if that can help. I don't know if that flashlight helps at all. Brightest setting. It's just a really smoked... Uh, canopy and these are some bright LEDs I'm using be besides even the flashlight so it's just too much reflection and glare I'm afraid all right well let me look at some photos and see what we come back with back with some uh, wheels from the show car I also put brakes in it seems to just have bright black calipers so they're almost not it you can't even barely see them but I do have uh, the Audi rings kind of inset there. Also in the brake caliper, although I don't know if they belong there or not. Couldn't get good images of the brakes. Uh, what else did I do? I added some black paint here in the vents up front as well. And then I had to drill out the holes because this is the way the stance was. I plus sized the tires 
but also this one is really forward. So I drilled out the holes so this can go up and back, and this one can just go up, so it looks a little less gappy. Yeah, oh, some red for the taillights as well. And then oddly, this I thought would be black, but it's not. It's just silver. There should be Audi rings there. Alright, let's take a look at a couple other concepts here by Hot Wheels. One question, what is this? I don't remember that thing. It's clearly an Audi. I don't know what it is. Okay, here's a GM Autonomy concept. And uh, I was glad to discover you can actually unlock the uh, top. Because this concept was supposed to be like a skateboard chassis. And then uh, different bodies go on top. But for some reason it's not easy to remove the top. So, ah, forget it. This one is actually hard to do because uh, the tires are so narrow. I had to... Yeah. I had a lot of axle grab on my wheels. I forget if this is actually a concept or actually limited edition. It's this V12 Speedster. Anyways, this one also has brakes, I guess. The brakes always spin with the wheels. And the last one. It's a Dodge Copperhead. I think that was a really cool car. car. Would have been nice if they actually produced this. You made the Plymouth Prowler after all, right? <clears throat> so this Avos is really huge. <laughs> it just looks out of... It just doesn't fit in with other Hot Wheels. The other three all look like they could belong in the same universe. But uh, this just doesn't. It, it just doesn't... It's just mammoth. Mammoth. So, it's too bad. Okay. Yeah, one last comparison to the to that photo there. Yeah, it's all right. Okay, let's get this up on the show stand thing. So the the scale is what really ruins this one for me. It's a cool car in reality, but as to why Hot Wheels chose to make it so massive, I don't understand. It's like, I would say to go down those tracks, but this is like a typical size Hot Wheels, right? I mean, well, yeah, it's significantly wider than all the other ones, like the bodies, right? So I'm not sure what they were thinking. It's very strange. Hmm. Okay, well, at least if you like Audi or show cars... Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you in the next uh, concept car video. See you then.